Hey guys, it's DT, and today I am back with the big boy, or should I say, big base. Uh, this is a custom prototype Black Panther statue. If you guys remember, I unboxed four different prototypes from this same group, each of them amazing in their own way. If you guys missed any of those videos, make sure to check them out. This one is the last one of that group. So I've already got everything set up. Please don't ask me to reassemble this thing because finding places for all these little plants uh, took forever. So I don't wanna take them all out in the fear that I won't know where to put them back. There are all these plants on all sides of this guy. Uh, there's one place, I think uh, I might have missed one in the box or something because there's a hole there. But remember, this is a prototype. Uh, the production piece uh, should have everything there. Here it is, this guy is massive. So let's uh, jump right into the review. So this is a quarter scale piece. Just like a lot of the pieces in my collection, this one is one fourth the size it would be in real life. You might think the Black Panther is a little bit smaller in relation to this giant base, but uh, he is true quarter scale. This base is just ginormous. So let's go ahead and start off by talking about it. Obviously we're in Wakanda here, or maybe we're in Agrabah and the Black Panther just arrived at the Cave of Wonders. No, I don't think T'Challa is looking for the magic lamp. However, it might help him if he went inside and found Will Smith and he gave him three wishes. We've got this giant panther head carved into the rock. There is some very nice paintwork on this. There are a variety of colors, everything from your dark browns to your lighter shades of brown. We've got some little white specks in there, some very nice shadowing to really bring out that rock quality. We can see some cracks in here, some little bumps. Down here on the bottom, we have a darker shade of brown that kind of separates the panther head from the stone on the ground. I think the sculpt in the head looks great. I think the one thing that really sets it apart is this kind of a shiny moss effect they have. It gives it a, kind of a wet appearance and some realism as that's kind of how moss grows on rock when it's around moisture. So I think that was a really nice touch. Probably my favorite thing when it comes to the paint. Down here in the mouth, you can see all the teeth and the giant fangs. We even have a little waterfall that's flowing from inside the mouth going over the bottom set of teeth. That's sort of a translucent resin that's been tinted sort of this blue color. Uh, up close, it kind of looks a little bit like candy. I think it gives a nice water effect and it kind of explains why the front portion of his face here, as well as the surrounding sides, uh, have sort of a wet look to them. In contrast to the back of the statue, which looks relatively dry. I think they did a great job with the plants. As I mentioned, there are a lot of these little plant pieces that you have to key in. Uh, some of them are very obvious where they go, others uh, aren't so much, but this is a prototype. I'm sure the production piece will have clearer markings on where each piece goes. We've got these little stalagmites that are growing out of the ground, uh, just like you'd find inside a cave. They're kind of branching out to either side of the panther head, which uh, creates a very nice frame for it. Also creates a bit of interest makes the statue a little bit wider as well. I think that part looks fantastic, especially with all these little plants that are growing uh, in between them. We've got some vines and little roots growing up on the sides. It's definitely one of the more larger bases uh, that I've ever seen, especially for a single character quarter scale statue, such as this one. From the front, it doesn't look that big. However, when you turn it to the side, you can really see how massive this base is. This is a 24 inch turntable and uh, it only leaves maybe an inch or two on each side. You got pretty much a circular footprint on this guy. If you've got a little round coffee table, it might work perfectly. Excellent base, uh, definitely takes up about two thirds of this statue with the final third being the Black Panther himself. Here we have him on top of the giant panther rock kind of in this crouching pose. He's got his right knee elevated off of the surface, leading me to believe that he's about to leap off of this thing 
or he's just landed on top of it, but it gives us a very nice sense of action. Really like the texture on his suit. It's got this really tight, armored looking texture. His boots are actually much smoother. They do have a texture to them, but the texturing is not as deep and defined. There are some really nice folds and creases. The same thing goes with his suit. We can still see all that muscle definition. He's got a very symmetrical build. He's got these very rounded muscles, especially in the pecs and deltoid area. On the back, we can see some giant lats, nice round gluteus maximus. He's got some black gloves to match his boots. Texturing almost has like a Kevlar armor type texturing to them. So this statue actually comes in two variations. Uh, we have a silver version, which we see here, and there's also a gold version. I haven't seen the gold version. However, the silver version looks excellent. I think the silver really pops off of the all black costume. We have got the accents on the edges of the gloves, kind of have this uh, semi belt that just kind of goes around his legs. And then of course we have the claw necklace. And that piece actually is removable. Right now he's got the mask portrait. I think it looks fantastic. Same great texturing to match his suit. I really like the sculpt on this one. Of course there is a slight neck seam where his head meets his neck. He's got the whited out eyes. You can still see that angry, determined expression on his face. Let's go ahead and switch it out. We do get an unmasked portrait and there it is. Obviously this is not a Chadwick Boseman statue. This portrait is definitely more comic book based. He's got the full beard and mustache. The paint on the head was darkened up since the initial reveal. They made it a little bit darker. He does have some very sharp features uh, for being African. You would think his nose maybe wouldn't be as pointy, but I would definitely display it with the mask portrait uh, regardless of how the unmasked portrait looked. It just makes it look a lot more like Panther. So another option we have is a hand holding a spear. The spear comes in two separate pieces. We have to feed this end of the spear through his hand and then connect it. Then the tip just kind of keys in like that. Uh, it's very detailed spear. We've got very ornamental designs both on this end as well as on the blade itself. This arm just comes off. We can just pop this one in like that. So a little bit more color added, especially with that red handle and the silver blade. Uh, we also have some gold accents on that as well. I think that looks really cool. I really like the two claws, but this is definitely uh, a cool option to have. The commissioner tells me there are still some available. If you guys are interested, make sure to find me over on Facebook at DTTube and I will send you in the right direction. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.